In this video, I'm going to show you changing the time signature in Reaper. So I got a project in front of me here, and I was told the tempo is 110 beats per minute. So I go down here and change it from 120 to 110. Then I'll make sure all the items are right on bar one. But notice what happens when we play the song. Some of the bars line up at the top of the bar, like bar seven and bar four, but the others don't. And that's because this song is not in 4-4, four, four. but we have it set to 4-4. Four, four. Right down here, it's more of a waltz feel, which is one, two, three, two, two, three. But luckily, we could change it right here. Let's type in three, four. Make sure the items are right on bar one. And let's see if they line up now. Now it's perfect, as this song is in 3 4, or a waltz counted as 1 2 3, 2 2 3, and so on. Let's check out another example. This song, I was told, is the tempo 87.5. So we'll type that in. Make sure our items are right on bar one. And let's see if that lines up with our grid. Just like the other song, some of the bars line up, like bar four and bar seven, but the others don't. Because like the other song, this song is not in four four. In fact, it's six eight. Counted one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So we could change that right here to six eight. And again, we'll make sure the items start at bar one. And let's see if it lines up now. Again, now it's perfect, as the six beats in each bar counted one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So this song is six, eight, and we should set it up by changing the time signature down here. But there's still another example I want to show you. This song is actually four, four, and the tempo is 120 beats per minute, and I set it up for the time signature to be four, four. But there's still one problem. Check it out. There's a heat wave. There's a heat wave rolling in. There's a heat wave, yeah. There's a party in the streets and the cities on fire. Notice right over here on the intro, we have an odd bar at bar 26. Let's hear it again. There's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. So the bars after the intro are now off by two beats. So if we count it, we'll count it as one, two, three, four, then one, two, then four again. Yeah. There's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. So bar 27 over here should happen over here. And we can fix that by adding a different time signature at bar 26. So we'll put our cursor right here. Let's go to our actions, show action list. 
and we'll type into the filter, insert time signature. We can choose the item right here, double click it, and then inserts this tempo change at bar 26. But we don't need to change the tempo, we just wanna change the time signature. And we'll change it to two four. So if two beats in this one measure, hit okay. Now we'll see this measure has two beats. So our intro starts right on bar 27. But there's still a problem with this. Now at bar 27, we're still in 2 4. Because of the change at bar 26, we want to go back to 4 4 at bar 27. And we could do that the same way. Put our cursor at 27, trigger that same action, and this time we'll change it back to 4 4. So now we have a 2 4 measure going back to 4 4 afterwards. Let's hear that. There's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. So it makes sense to have one strange or odd bar at bar 26. Let's hear it back a bit further. There's a heat wave, yeah. There's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. Then back to 4 4 at bar 27. So, using this method, inserting different time signatures, we can keep the top of our bars lining up with each section. So, that's pretty much it. That's changing the time signature in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.